Hi, welcome to another new Wild Garden Cam series, the Species Spotlight. The live cameras show the Wild Garden in real time and can be seen daily on any of these three channels, links below in the comments. Species Spotlight series will focus on the wildlife that lives or visits the Wild Garden. This episode focuses on starlings. A couple of months ago, some of our highlight videos featured the adult starlings feeding themselves and gathering food for fledgings waiting back at the nest. Once again, I would like to highlight the importance in early spring, especially with starlings the young rely on the food for hydration. So if you use dried mealworms, it's highly important to always soak them first. Once the starlings expect food, they will always come back. Now spring is almost over as summer is well on its way. I still soak the mealworms before the starlings come. This is for all the birds though. They do have the added option to use either the fountain or the bird bath. The adults have taught the young to come here for food and although I enjoy their company and love to see them, I have to stick to a strict regime and only put the food out in the mornings and the evenings, otherwise they become too dependent and don't learn to how to forage and hunt for themselves. Another reason to stick to the schedule is that they can cause some competition. Although this is simply a little playful squabbling, most of the flock is currently on the ground. The noise you hear is being made by about 70 or so starlings. Believe it or not, these beautiful birds used to be uncommon in the UK. However, over the centuries they have proved themselves to be highly adaptable birds, expanding their numbers and range in wake of farmers and when suitable conditions become available. There is only a 15% chance that the juveniles will survive past their first year of life. If they do survive to a breeding age, they can be expected to live to another 2-3 to three years. However, the longest living individual was recorded at a whopping 21 years of age. Although they become adaptable in recent years since the 1980s, the starling population has seen a large drop in numbers, so much so they are now on the red list as a high conservation of concern. Some people have speculated that it's the distinct lack in invertebrates, the ground insects that they eat, there are many factors which is why it's important to feed them but to keep a strict schedule, provide water and clean the feeders as pigeons can spread diseases to other bird species. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. Bye!